Joining us right now exclusively is director of the CDC, Dr. Rochelle Walensky. Dr. Walensky, thank you so much for being with us this morning. I want to get right into it with that new warning uh, that there's likely an association between these two vaccines and an increased risk of a rare heart condition for young people. So to any parent who hears this news and might be weighing the risk between a vaccine and vaccinating their teen right now, what do you say to them? Good morning, Cecilia. Thanks so much for having me. Um, you know, we heard a lot of these data and we've been following this very carefully um, as we have had reports of this rare but mild myocarditis come in. Um, and we heard about this yesterday at the um, Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices yesterday. Um, but what we do when we do this is we look at the risks and we look at the benefits. And to just put this in perspective, if we have a group of 12 to 17 year olds who are uh, working to vaccinate over the next four months and we can vaccinate a million of them which would be great strides. Over the next four months, we could expect 30 to 40 of these mild, self-limited cases of myocarditis. And for that, if we were to vaccinate all 1 million, we would avert 8,000 cases of COVID, 200 hospitalizations, 50 ICU stays, and one death. And so we weigh the risks as well as the benefits, these extraordinary benefits of vaccines as we make these recommendations. And it is why we at CDC have made the recommendations to vaccinate and had co-signers from so many other medical organizations, including the American Heart Association. That the benefits overwhelmingly outweigh the risks of that vaccine. Why do you think that this is affecting males more than young women? Yeah, it's a really great question. You know, myocarditis itself is more predominant in males than it is in um, in females. So we're seeing the same trends as we see with the disease itself. So it may be something um, associated with um, the the uh, hormones in in men that may make them more prone to have uh, myocarditis. I want to talk to you about the or ask you about the Delta variant. It's now in nearly every state. We know it is spreading so rapidly. Do you, are you bracing for a surge in new cases now? Um, so here's what we know about the Delta variant, and we've been following this very carefully and really watching um, uh, people across the world in the UK. Certainly they've been seeing a surge. Um, here is what we know. About a month ago, we had about 2.7 percent of all of our cases here in the United States are Delta variants. About two weeks ago, that was 9.9 percent. Now it's up to 20.6 percent. We've seen a doubling in just the two weeks. Generally, when viruses mutate, they do so with some advantage to the virus. And in this case, the Delta variant, it is mutated so that the virus is more transmissible. So yes, I worry that we will see more cases of Delta variant here, and it is likely to become the predominant strain here in the United States. Our vaccines against the Delta, work against the Delta variant. You get those two shots of the vaccine and it works. We've seen that in the UK. But what I really do worry about is those pockets of places around the country that haven't been well vaccinated. And those are the places where this virus is going to be an opportunist and could potentially take hold in individuals and communities. And Dr. Walensky, we're seeing more and more employers now requiring employees to be vaccinated before they can return to work. Morgan Stanley overnight, the city and county of San Francisco just mandated this. Do you believe that this is the right step and is this where we're headed? You know, I think those decisions have to be made at an organizational level. Clearly, they're hard decisions. What I think um, needs to be balanced here is individual safety and community safety. We know that these vaccines protect individuals, but they also protect communities. And so given that every single one, nearly every single one of these hospitalizations and deaths are currently preventable, I really do understand the motivation to try and prevent disease and death in the workplace. It's all such an important message, Dr. Walensky. We appreciate your time this morning. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.